So his plate left was 75,000 with a total count of 15,000. So he, uh, they took the x-ray. So that would explain why he had a SATs of 90 on 15 liters. So this guy had extensive interstitial shadowing. His, uh, he wasn't retaining CO2, thankfully. Profound metabolic acidosis, base deficit of minus 21, bicarb of 8. The lactate was through the roof, 16.35. And he had renal insult as well. So AKI, possible ARDS, refractory shock. Yeah, so all of these were in evidence. The lactate measurement is... Uh, it's a key component of your sepsis bundle. So you need to, you all know that if you have established somebody has got sepsis with organ dysfunction, you need to take three and give three. Take three or measure three would be urine output, lactate, yeah, and uh, urine output, lactate, and, and you need to give them fluids, you need to give them oxygen, and you need to give them antibiotics. The other one to take out is cultures, blood and urine cultures. So take three, give three within the first hour if possible, particularly if they are in septic shock. Yeah. So this, this gentleman was really sick. So he had blood cultures taken, antibiotics given. We carefully gave him 1,000 mils. It was a nightmare giving him fluids with that sort of a lung. But as he was already intubated, we, we went ahead and gave him that fluids. We had to optimize the intravascular volume. So he was on maximum dose of NORAD. So we started him on vasopressin too. So reliable delivery of vasopressors and inotropes can only happen through central axis. So you're okay to start them peripherally, but within half an hour, one hour, you need to think about placing a central axis. So, and then he was shifted to ICU. So this guy, so these further questions on how best you manage is shock. So next line, vasoactivation, fluid of choice. So this, this guy, uh, you, you might want to, he's already on, he's, he's already on NORAD, he has maxed out on NORAD. The thing to remember is you don't wait for the NORAD to be maxed out before you start the vasopressin. So you can see the trend if these NORAD requirements are going up, you parallelly start vaso. So you do know that despite these two, if he's still hypotensive, you may want to parallelly start ADRI and then slowly take off the NORAD. So there's no point in giving both adrenaline and NORAD together. So ADRI acts in both alpha and beta receptors, both the alpha one uh, when alpha 1 and beta 1 uh, is what we are concerned about here. NORAD also does, but it's more of an alpha 1 uh, agonist rather than a beta. Which beta action is not that all that pronounced. So you might want to switch it to a dream. Fluid of choice. Um, these balanced fluids are what are recommended, particularly in sepsis. We tend to give Hartman's or oral. So, which is cheaper, so that the plasma light and other balanced solutions are slightly more expensive. So, we go with a tried and tested RL for all these patients, single lactates for all these patients.